Hello, this is Andrew Ford for Photo Focus, and today we're going to look at using the HDR toning feature in Photoshop to give some pop to photos you may have taken with a cell phone while on vacation. So to begin, with our image selected, we will go to Image, Adjustments, HDR Toning. Now you can see it will put on the default preset, but when we look on our HD toning panel, we will see that there are many presets. If we uncheck the preview button and see the original image, we'll notice there's not a lot of saturation in this photo. The sky is kind of blah, everything's kind of blah. So what we're gonna to want to do is add in a little bit of this detail that our phone's camera did not provide. Now for method, I like to use local adaptation. This adjusts HDR tonality by adjusting brightness regions throughout the image. The first feature you come across is edge glow. Per Adobe, the radius setting of edge glow specifies the size of the local brightness regions, and the strength specifies how far apart the pixel's values must be before they're not considered part of the same region. And for this photo, I feel like we'll settle on the 100 pixel mark. You can see when you adjust the strength, the vast difference you get. I'll choose 0.4 for this picture for more uniformity. When we go into the Tone and Detail settings, we'll see Gamma Exposure and Detail. Gamma is very touchy, as you can see. I'll leave it at 1. Exposure is basically like changing your f-stops on a real camera. And the Detail slider adjusts your sharpness. When you raise the detail very high, you get into this realm that some people like, but I don't find to be overly realistic. For this photo, I'm going to keep it at 30%. Now in the Advanced settings, we have shadow, highlight, vibrance, and saturation. I'm thinking on lowering the shadow of this photo because I want the area in these windows to remain black, not get this bluish tinge. If we look at the original photo, we'll see that it is black in these windows, and now we're getting some color. So by lowering the shadow percent, I'm bringing back the blackness that was in these windows. I'm also going to have to pull down the highlight percentage because our sky here is getting way too bright. See, just even lowering at 12%, I've brought back the clouds. We never really had much sky to begin with, as you can see. We're just doing what we can with the sky. Now, vibrance I'm going to raise. This is most noticeable here. Venice is famous for its red color along the gondola route. So we brought that back. And when it comes to saturation, I think where we have it at 20% is fine. Anymore starts getting a little bit too fake. The toning curve and histogram area here there's an adjustable curve showing luminance. I'll bring it in just a little bit here. And now if we look at our original, we have seen that we brought back the actual look of the Venice Canal. It's trademark color of the water, buildings. We did what we could with the sky. We didn't blow it out and we have some detail left there. I'd like to show you one more example. Here is Eileen Donan Castle in Scotland. I like this example because this is actually a pretty darn good cell phone photo in my opinion. But even though it's better than the Venice Canal one we saw, I think we can still enhance a little bit. So again, image, adjustments, HDR toning. In this instance, I feel like we can raise the radiance of edge glow up a lot. I like the way it really highlights the reflections in the water. Yes, it blew out the clouds here, but we can adjust that later with our other settings. Let's try and run detail up high in this clip. This rock has a lot of cragginess to it. The stone bridge has some detail. And of course the castle. So by adjusting the detail, let's see the difference. We're really making that stone and rock pop. Now just like the Venice picture, I'm going to lower the shadow and I'm going to lower the highlight. And that's gonna get rid of the overly bright spots in our clouds. And now we have a very dramatic sky here. We still have the beautiful coloring and reflection in the water. We can enhance that with a little more vibrance, add a little more saturation. And now, even though we had a pretty good photo to start, I think we have something that's very dramatic. Look at the original, look at the new one. This is not over the top, it is not cartoonish looking, still realistic. And so that's why I like the HDR toning feature on Photoshop to really pull out some detail that your cell phone camera probably didn't capture. Thanks to expanding the dynamic range and adjusting the settings of HDR toning. Thank you.